A drone just launched like a rocket, flew like a plane, and landed back on its tail, all without a runway. China's newest tail-sitter UAV, revealed during a disaster drill in Sichuan, is changing how we think about flight. With vertical takeoff, full autonomy, and mission-ready AI, this compact machine could transform emergency response and beyond. A new chapter in drone design is unfolding in China, and it begins with a launch that resembles a rocket more than a traditional aircraft. This newly unveiled tailsitter drone stands out for one reason. It doesn't need a runway. Instead, it takes off vertically from its tail, transitions into horizontal flight midair, and lands the same way it began, on its tail. This flight pattern, called vertical takeoff and landing, combines the best of both worlds. The agility of helicopters and the speed and efficiency of fixed-wing aircraft. The drone made its public debut during a disaster relief drill in the rugged mountains of Sichuan province, an area known for its difficult terrain. In such environments, a drone that doesn't require a flat surface for launch or recovery is a game-changer. Traditional drones and manned aircraft often struggle with access or setup in remote areas. This UAV solves that problem elegantly. In terms of physical specs, the drone has a wingspan of 2.6 meters, 8.5 feet, and a length of 1.8 meters, 5.9 feet, making it compact and easy to transport. It is powered by a single duct fan engine, which is a critical feature. This design choice allows it to maintain stable vertical takeoff and landing, while also offering higher forward speeds than typical quadcopters. What's truly remarkable is the level of maneuverability. The vertical flight capability gives it a unique edge in emergency response situations. Whether navigating through forests, mountains, or disaster-stricken zones, this UAV can hover, maneuver, and land in places where conventional aircraft can't operate. The single fan design also makes it more efficient and quieter than open-rotor drones. Another notable feature is its modular payload system. Depending on the mission, operators can attach various equipment, including high-resolution cameras, environmental sensors, lighting systems, or even smoke markers for signaling. This flexibility makes it suitable not only for surveillance, but also for search and rescue operations, mapping, and hazard detection. What makes this drone even more fascinating is what powers its brain. The UAV isn't just about flight, it's about autonomous decision-making. At the heart of the system lies the Wenyao Intelligent Control System, developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, under AVC, China's state-owned aerospace conglomerate. Wenyao brings together several core AI capabilities, automatic route planning, real-time obstacle avoidance, autonomous task allocation, and even multi-drone coordination. In the recent disaster response exercise where this drone was showcased, Wenyao was fully activated. The system allowed the drone to detect terrain variations, avoid hazards, and reroute itself based on real-time feedback, all without manual control. This is particularly valuable in unpredictable environments, such as earthquake zones or areas with blocked infrastructure. Instead of relying on pre-programmed routes, the UAV can interpret its surroundings and adjust mid-flight to stay on course or avoid danger. This technology doesn't just benefit individual missions, it enables swarm functionality. That means multiple drones can operate together, each assigned specific roles by the AI system. One could perform reconnaissance, another could map terrain, and another could deploy emergency lighting, all coordinated automatically. Wenyao's architecture ensures the swarm communicates efficiently and adapts dynamically to changing mission parameters. What adds even more value is the drone's modular payload bay, which allows quick swapping of tools depending on the mission, if the objective is to map a flood zone, a camera and environmental sensors can be loaded. If night operations are required, light pods can be attached. The plug-and-play design reduces turnaround time and enables rapid redeployment. These innovations are part of a broader push to develop multi-role aerial platforms that can perform in both civil and defense-adjacent scenarios. This isn't about replacing human operators. It's about augmenting their reach and speed with technology that thinks and adapts. And with its low maintenance needs and small footprint, the drone is designed to be easily integrated into existing emergency systems.
While the drone's name hasn't been disclosed, its performance suggests it's nearing deployment readiness. China's new tail sitter UAV may be cutting edge, but it didn't emerge in a vacuum. Globally, there's growing interest in tail sitter drones, a unique class of UAVs that take off vertically and convert mid-air for horizontal flight. One of the most well-known models in this category is the VBAT, developed by US-based Shield AI. It has already seen operational use with the US Navy, Marine Corps, and Army, and even international partners like Ukraine and India. So how does China's new drone compare? In terms of size, it's fairly close. The Chinese model measures 2.6 meters in wingspan and 1.8 meters in length, whereas the VBAT is just slightly larger. Both utilize a single duct fan, which gives them a compact silhouette and vertical takeoff agility while maintaining better aerodynamics than quadcopters. Where China's UAV starts to differentiate itself is in its AI integration and modular payloads. The Wunyao system enables autonomous route adjustments, task assignments, and real-time hazard avoidance, all with no human input required. The VBAT, while also advanced, has typically relied more on ground control and semi-autonomous features, though Shield AI is moving quickly towards similar autonomy levels. What's especially significant is how this technology blends compact engineering with smart decision-making. It shows that the next frontier in drones isn't just speed or range, but how intelligently and independently they operate. From urban search missions to remote environmental monitoring, this type of UAV opens new doors. As it evolves, it may also push global standards for autonomy and safety in drone operations. We're witnessing the rise of truly intelligent flight systems. Another notable distinction is the application context. The Chinese drone made its debut during a disaster relief drill in Sichuan, framing its purpose around emergency response and field adaptability. This stands in contrast to VBAT's more traditional military deployment. By introducing the system under a humanitarian use case, China can demonstrate its capability in a globally acceptable way while refining its tech in real-world environments. All signs point to a global trend. The UAV battlefield, or operational space, is moving toward runway-independent, AI-guided, multi-role aircraft. And China's entry signals that it's not just playing catch-up. It's contributing actively to the evolution of this tech category, possibly even leapfrogging others in compact design and real-time autonomy. China's tail-sitter drone isn't just a flashy piece of tech, it's a glimpse into the future of unmanned aviation. With its rocket-style launch, AI-driven autonomy, and flexible design, it's built to perform in environments where traditional aircraft fall short. Whether it's aiding in disaster relief or paving the way for next-gen aerial systems, this UAV represents a major step forward. As countries race to develop smarter, faster, and more adaptable drones, innovations like this will shape how we respond to emergencies, gather data, and operate in complex environments. The future of flight is changing fast. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.